Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to another Let's Look At. Uh, this time we're going to be looking at a game called Minion Masters. Uh, the game is in early access and it is also $20 in early access. Um, I did get the... Uh, I forget what it's called. It's like the premium package. It's also $20. I'm not sure if you can get the two together. I think you can. Um, but yeah, I did, I did get it. I didn't pay for it necessarily I got it through a, a humble bundle I think or I I got it somehow I don't know how but I had a key for it but I don't think the developers gave it to me and if you all did I'm so sorry um the game has been referred to or it's been said it's close to uh what's it called I need to lower this at least a little bit oh wait no 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 no, no. do not quit the desktop uh to clash royale um you have your your deck up here it's not you know that many cards. I think it's 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 cards. I'm sorry. 10 cards, and you can obviously you can craft more using shards. You have rubies, which are your premium currency that you can pay for with real money, or you unlock them. Yeah, see, this is the, pre the premium upgrade that I, gold, that I got. Uh, you have power tokens, which you use to, if we just, if we buy some now, I guess. That's really loud. Uh, using the rubies that I have, we go to the power tower, and this is how you would typically unlock cards. It's still, like, far too loud. Uh, we got a nice, uh, nice common here. Common spell, shock rock. And you know, you just you just keep doing that. It's a it's a fantastic uh, microtransaction train. I think the game itself is a lot of fun, but I do share. Yeah. I already have this common. Yeah, so it's gonna turn it straight into shards because you don't need uh, duplicates of any card in this game. Ooh, there's a legendary there. I already have this legendary though, so you know, it it is what it is. I don't think I'm going to be using any of these that I just got, but that's just showing you guys how that works. Um, you have different masters, there's a weekly thing for them, or you can buy them with either shards or uh, rubies. I've so far, I, I mean, I've used both of these that are free. Um, Stormbringer, I believe, is free for everyone, like at all times, but I guess for now, let's go ahead and get into a game. Yes, yeah, just replay it. I'm just going to replay one that I've already played before because I feel like that makes the the most sense. And here we go, you have your two sides. You have my side, this one, versus the other enemy. You have mana down here, then you just cast minions depending on what you want to play. You have to capture these middle bridges. There's a lot of stuff going on in this game, so I'm sorry if I can't go over all of it. I do wish that my sniper had gone towards that side um, but yeah you capture the the bridges and uh, based on the bridges that you have captured you'll gain XP and you use XP to to unlock uh, different moves you'll notice I do have a quite a bit of um, range that units of his Stormbringer benefits from range Oh, he's his Stormbringer leveled up. Oh, so did mine. So that first level up is long shot. It basically lets them fire across the entire map. Ooh, and I have two cost Plasma Marines. This little, this wizard guy is bullshit. When you kill him, he kills a random minion of yours. Um, this guy is gonna overpower me extremely quickly here. I may, I may actually lose because of his own like Stormbringer. Actually, I think I'm gonna save up enough to break this. I wish I had also gotten her in the in the process there. Sadly, I did not, but that's okay. Uh, she can't be attacked by melee units. She can only be attacked by ranged units. Uh, some of the Sun Lancers to stop the really big people is so far what I've learned. I'm not fantastic at this game, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, say that right now. I don't think I'm very good at it. 
Uh, but the campaign itself doesn't seem extremely difficult. Play another random minion over here. Take away that. He's gonna die instantly here. Yeah, I think Stormbringer may be like the strongest of them all. Which is really weird because he's also like the beginner one that's free for everyone. But it's it's that ability to like shoot across the map, basically kill all minions right as they spawn is quite quite good. There it is, defeat. I'm gonna move to an easier one. Uh, just to kind of, I guess, show you guys that I know how to play this game. It is also pretty RNG based, um, depending on the cards you get. Obviously, when you have 10 cards to pick from, it's not incredibly difficult. I like that blind date card. It just. You spend 4 mana on a random 5 mana person. It's pretty cool. Yeah, that guy is just gonna wreck me entirely. I don't even stand a chance against him. But I think this guy does, because melee units can't hit air units. That's correct, that is correct. Okay. Uh, I am going to summon my stun lancers. Put them on that side. And I guess put plasma marines on this side, just so I can take this bridge away. Mordar is a uh, necromancer. So his cards, you know, resurrect minions. I hate this guy, by the way. Like, I really do not like him. Gax the World Bomb, dealing 100 damage to everything. I think I've seen him before, and I don't think I like him very much. I guess I could summon him now to, like, kind of clear his entire field. I guess I still could do that. This warrior has got to go. Uh, summon this right next to them. Oh, we just got four little knights. That's good. These two are gonna trade. Obviously, they're the same unit. Uh, this guy, I believe, gives him yeah, it gives him extra mana the longer it is on that. So, getting it off of that bridge as soon as possible is ideal. Ideally, this wealth doesn't do anything to me. Okay, we're gonna summon our big boy. This is kind of basically our end game. And that's the same as that one. I wish I would have known he was summoning that so I could have put my stun lancers over there. His might kill me? No. Okay, my attacks just faster enough. But, uh, the game, it seems interesting. I think $20 is a pretty steep price, honestly for a game that has microtransactions in it, and specifically it has this many microtransactions in it. Uh, it makes the game really seem like pay to win, but you know, that's my opinion, you don't have to pay attention to my opinion. Um, but other than that, like, the game seems fun, I just, if it was free to play with microtransactions, you know, the way like that Hearthstone does it, I think. Uh, that might be a little bit more acceptable. Only for the reason that I mentioned earlier that $20 is actually like a very, very high price point in most people's opinion. And, you know, mine too, but like I said, I don't actually remember how I got the game. I just know that I have a key for it, so I figured I'd install it. I have played maybe like an hour and a half of this game. And that's how long it took me to beat the single player. Haven't fully beat the single player, I have one more mission to go, but like... You know what I mean, it took... It, the single player is about an hour and a half, it's not a significant amount. And you get, you know, enough things to kind of keep you going. I really should be spawning for me, that doesn't matter. Lightning never strikes twice, um, but I do. And then obviously, when you, as you level up, you start unlocking, you unlock more and more things. This is my uh, online rank, I haven't played any online at all, but as you can see I've played the single player. I have lost uh, a couple of times, not very many, 
but I also haven't played very many times. I've only like done these, so I need like Ratbone Stormbringer. Shop, you can buy masters, as I showed you. You can also buy different arenas, just this is purely aesthetic, you know, that looks different. Uh, this this is what I feel like all uh, like pay to wins, not pay to win, but like micro section should be. They should all be, uh, what's it called? Purely aesthetic, but in this game you can buy different masters, which all have different abilities. Some are more powerful than others. You can obviously buy tokens that give you better cards, and I don't know. I'm not the biggest fan of the the pay to win aesthetic. I'm a big fan of this. This kind of wheel thing is pretty cool. Am I gonna get the epic? I am. Fantastic. I don't think I have that one. Black Ult is supreme. I'm sorry. Sucks up all minions, removing them from the game. Nice. Let's open another one here, I guess, while I kind of give the ending thing. Is it worth $20? Um, I guess if if the game is your thing, like if you intend, if you think you're gonna get a lot of mileage out of the uh, out of the online, then yes, I would pay $20 because I do believe that the $20 is for the uh, like the premium upgrade, if that makes sense. Um, like I think you can only get the premium upgrade with the game, so you pay twenty dollars for, um, like twenty five. Okay, here it is, twenty five hundred rubies. So twenty five hundred of these, five hundred of these, and a plus fifty percent XP bonus forever. So the XP bonus, you know, is pretty cool up to a certain extent. So I think it's at once you reach a certain point you know doesn't matter I also don't like that it automatically I don't know if you noticed there it automatically moves the shards up uh, before this stops spinning so you kinda know if you got a duplicate see like right there I gained 25 so I know I'm gonna land on the common that I already have so I think that's a little uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't like it personally. Also, the game seems to be very intensive for some reason. Oh, another common I already had. It seems to be very like demanding. I suppose is the proper way to say that. Um, but I could be. I could be wrong because like I'm playing it on the medium settings and I'm getting about like a hundred and forty-ish frames per second while recording see like I'm, I'm on the medium preset if I jump up to beautiful it like drops me down to like the hundreds but I do have you know I have an i7 6700 K overclocked to like 4.4 and I have an R9 390 also like I have some pretty beefy things I feel like I should be getting a lot more than 100 FPS and this game doesn't look like it should be nearly as demanding as it is. But I'll do a quick 1v1 again in the easiest one possible using the other master just to kind of show off that he's different. But I feel like depending on what master you use you should really be using different decks as well. Uh, I probably should stop these guys. I'll put my ranged units. But yeah, see, so this guy, uh, you get a card whenever you have enough procuring puffs. I actually don't want to do that. I think I'm going to put the wealth over here to take this bridge. I use my blind date. Maybe I'll get a good five mana minion. I, I tend to get that guy quite a bit. He's like the sniper guy, but I think a little better, if I'm not mistaken. I'm actually going to play the the big golem. See, like I should have more of these, uh, like the puff things. Yeah, 
if I'm gonna be using King Puff, I can Trick Swap to move guys from this one to that one, basically. Obviously, I completely messed it up there, but you know, it happens. So I'm gonna Dragon Whelp whenever you play a spell. So I need to put that like off to the side. He stunned me, but then he also threw over there, but you know. It's what they do when they're at a lower level. So then I play that guy. And I think if I do Fireball, I get the Dragon Well. Yeah. That's basically how that works. I don't have enough spells in this specific deck to make very good use of that. I don't have very many spells in this specific deck build. Also, I... Correct me if I'm wrong, I'll check after this match. I believe you can only have one deck uh, saved at a time, so... It does make it a little weird that, you know... Like, all these cards perform very differently, but then you, know, you can only have one deck at a time anyways. I don't know, I think that's pretty strange. I guess I'll drop another one of those eggs. I think the right play with those is to not play them until you have spells to cast. But like I said, it's not like I have a lot of spells in this deck anyways. But the uh, King Puff definitely seems to be more uh, gauged towards uh, spells than anything else. Because these guys, whenever they're on there, they give you extra mana for controlling the bridge. Uh, this should be ending pretty soon. I think this barrage should do it. Like, these two alone should be able to take care of it. If not, you know, these guys can also do it. There you go. Uh, I guess I'll drop a dragon well. I'll put one of those. Do this zero just to get the wealth out. Fireball this thing. Get another wealth. And then you know, just like rinse and repeat. Then play the blue golem. Because he should be the be all end all here. If I'm not mistaken, I don't think you'll be able to stop him. Oh, he definitely won't be able to stop this big dude, so. Pretty sure that's uh, that's gonna be game. I can definitely see some like pretty high level esports play out of this. It's just the price factor is the, like the biggest limiting thing for me. Really, my stone golem's coming after this guy. Oh, that's a cool dog. Everyone's getting stunned now. Let's do that. Drop a fireball on this little wealth. Let's get more. More from that side. I'll just play this. I'll play that. I'll play that. Oh man, let me play it. At some point, you just want to overwhelm your opponent. But yeah, that's that's pretty much all there is to the game. Let me check if um, you can. Oh, you can have more than one deck. You just have to. Level 20 unlocks two more and then 40 the other three. Okay. So I guess you can have more than one deck. Um, so, you know, that's the game. It is still in early access. So, you know, things can change. Maybe microtransactions get changed. The pay to win mechanic gets changed. Who knows? I Hopefully... Some of that does change because I would like to see, uh, you know, a lot of play of this game because it is, I think it's pretty fun. It just, it gets really repetitive because it's like the winning formula is always just like storm your opponent down at some point. But you know, for now guys, thank you all for watching. Let me know if you want to see me play more of this. Uh, but for now, you know, that's going to do it and I'll see you all next time.